Ever wondered what popping daily dietary supplements will do to our bodies in the long run? Because let's be real, vitamins and minerals are not the only things present in our supplement tablets. Present in our daily multivitamin supplements are other ingredients like binders, emulsifiers, colorants, flavoring agents, disintegrants, fillers. All these things I mentioned and more, including your vitamins and minerals, it's what you take in anytime you pop in a multivitamin pill into your body. But of course, you need your vitamins because vitamins play a major role in shaping our health, including our skin. Our outward skin health is often a reflection of what's happening inside our body. And that is why eating inflammatory foods like sugar or caffeine isn't healthy for our body, especially our skin. One thing you should have in mind is that no amount of supplements can compensate for a poor nutrition. Hi, my name is Chimela. I make content around skincare, self-care and lifestyle. And you're welcome to my channel. Let's get into the video. The idea behind food supplements is to deliver nutrients that may not be consumed in sufficient amounts. So it's possible to have a proper diet and not need supplements. Food supplements can be vitamins, mineral, amino acids, fatty acids, and other substances sometimes delivered in the form of pills, capsules, syrups. So for these supplements to be effective on your skin, you do not need to take them in high doses because only a certain amount of each nutrient is required for our body to function and higher amounts are not necessarily better. At high doses, some substances may become harmful and have adverse effects. So amongst the things you can do for yourself is to use nutrition to your advantage. So in this video, I'm going to share with you the most important vitamins for a clear, glowing and youthful skin and the foods you can eat to get them. Maintaining a glowing and youthful skin in your 30s requires proper diet and nutrition. So the vitamins you need to be eating for a healthy, clear, glowing and bright complexion are vitamin A, vitamin B3, vitamin B5, vitamin B7, vitamin C, vitamin E, vitamin D, vitamin K. These are the eight vitamins that will help you get that glowing, supple and beautiful skin that we all want. So I'm going to be mentioning each vitamin and the foods that are rich in this vitamin. So we'll start with vitamin C. Vitamin C is generally used to treat hyperpigmentation, dark spots, fine lines and other skin issues. Vitamin C is also found in the epidermis which is the topmost layer of the skin and also you can find it in the inner layer of the skin. So how does vitamin C benefit your skin? Vitamin C is a potent antioxidant that helps to protect the skin from oxidative stress and supports collagen synthesis contributing to skin firmness and brightness. Collagen is a protein fiber that gives your skin strength and keeps it firm. So as you age, the production of collagen reduces naturally. Years of sun exposure can also break down the collagen protein in your skin. Topical application of vitamin C can improve the production of collagen and also help with hyperpigmentation. Vitamin C consumed orally can help to speed up the body's healing process by reducing cell damage. Now these are the fruits or the foods in which you can get your vitamin C. Citrus fruits like oranges, lemons and grapes, strawberries, kiwi, bell pepper, especially red and yellow, Brussels sprouts, papaya, carrots, grapes, ugu leaves, lime, tangerine, watermelon, cucumber, walnuts, agualumo, which is your odara, mangoes, dates, apple, liver, gizzard, and so many more. Vitamin A is used in a lot of skincare products because of its antioxidant benefits. I'm sure you must have heard of retinoids. Retinoids are a form of vitamin A and it's used in a lot of skincare products. They have anti-inflammatory properties that helps improve acne symptoms and they're also very good when it comes to, you know, treating fine lines. So what are the benefits of vitamin A to your skin? Vitamin A is crucial for skin repair and maintenance. It helps to improve the synthesis of collagen that helps promote smooth and youthful looking skin. Vitamin A is also good to improve the appearance and the signs of aging. 
it prevents sun damage and can also prevent sunburn now some foods that are rich in vitamin a are carrots spinach cod liver oil eggs green beans liver plantain palm oil oranges pawpaw you know yellow vegetables and fruits green vegetables apricots and you know kale also you can find vitamin a in some fortified skimmed milk so these and so many more are the foods where you can get your sources of vitamin a vitamin a is another antioxidant that can help protect our skin from free radical damage that cause aging vitamin a helps to maintain our skin health so here are some of the benefits of vitamin e to our skin when applied topically vitamin e reduces the effects of sun damage by you know absorbing the rays of the sun it also keeps the skin conditioned our body produces vitamin e in the form of sebum and this sebum is very necessary to maintain skin health vitamin e keeps our skin moisturized and prevents it from feeling irritated it's always advisable to consume foods rich in vitamin e for better efficacy now here are some of the foods that are rich in vitamin e sunflower seeds and sunflower seed oil almonds spinach avocados olive oil vegetable oils palm oils snail nuts and seeds nuts like walnuts tiger nuts cashew nuts also tomatoes mackerel fish mangoes and green vegetables now let's talk vitamin d getting enough sunlight exposure is an essential source of vitamin d synthesis in the body vitamin d helps to create healthy cells in the body now it's already popular knowledge that the sun rays cause aging of the skin but there is a time when exposure to the sun helps with the synthesis of vitamin d in the body 10 minutes of sun exposure early in the morning is enough to get your daily dose of vitamin d your body produces the most vitamin d when the sun rays penetrate through your skin but there are also foods which you can eat that are also rich in vitamin d foods that contain vitamin d are eggs fatty fish dairy products which are fortified with vitamin d soy products and also cereals that are fortified with vitamin d vitamin k plays a major role in treating a host of skin conditions and issues it plays a major role in reducing dark circles and promoting more even skin tone some skin benefits of vitamin k are fading of stretch marks scars dark spots under eye circles and spider veins vitamin k also helps in as the body healing process and is also effective in treating wounds and bruises some dermatologists may recommend topical creams that contain vitamin k to help with reducing swelling and bruises so now let's get over to the foods that contain vitamin k so some of the foods that you can get your vitamin k from are green vegetables like kale spinach lettuce broccoli brussels sprouts cabbage and parsley you can also get vitamin k from fish and eggs if you've watched this video to this point kindly give this video a thumbs up so that it can reach other people who are interested to see this video vitamin b3 also known as niacin which is popularly known in the skincare world as niacinamide plays a role in maintaining skin barrier function and reducing redness and irritation so how does vitamin b3 benefit our skin so vitamin b3 in its niacinamide form helps the skin retain its moisture content it also helps to improve the skin texture and smoothness it also contributes to glowing skin topical forms of vitamin b3 can help reduce the signs of aging vitamin b3 has also proved to regulate non-inflammatory acne symptoms it can also help with protecting your skin and also locking in moisture allowing your skin to stay hydrated soft and supple vitamin b3 is also a free radical scavenger which means that it fights free radical damage which causes rapid skin aging so some foods in which you can get your vitamin b3 are chicken turkey tuna salmon peanuts mushroom green peas nuts seeds vegetables and meats now vitamin b5 vitamin b5 also known as pantothenic acid which you may know as pantenol in skincare ingredients contributes to healthy firm looking skin 
So vitamin B5 is essential for skin hydration. It helps to maintain the skin's moisture level. So how does vitamin B5 benefit our skin? So vitamin B5 has moisture retaining capacity, which means that it increases the moisture level of the skin, thereby making it hydrated, soft, and supple. And this helps to reduce the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles. So some foods that are rich in vitamin B5 are avocados, sunflower seeds, chicken, beef, sweet potatoes, lentils, and also whole grains. Whole grains like oats, corn, and rice. Now let's move to the last vitamin we'll be talking about for today, vitamin B7, also known as biotin. Vitamin B7 is essential for nails, hair, and maintaining a healthy skin. Now the foods that are rich in vitamin B7 are eggs, almonds, walnuts, cauliflower, sweet potatoes, and spinach. So these are some of the foods you can get your vitamins from while getting your vitamin D from the sun. However, if you do not eat enough of these foods, then supplements can be a good way for you to compensate for the deficiencies of minerals which you may be lacking. Now, how do you know the supplements or the multivitamins that are beneficial for you to take? Determining the supplement or the multivitamin you should take depends on your specific needs, your health status, and your underlying deficiencies or condition. So when we talk about nutritional needs, your diet may be assessed. If you're maintaining a balanced diet, then a broad spectrum multivitamins may be administered to you. I'll get to that very soon. Now, if you have specific needs, then targeted multivitamin may be given to you, for example, vitamin C or primrose oil. Then when we talk about your health goals, your health goals could be that you may be having hormonal imbalance, so you need to take a particular type of supplement for that. For example, evening primrose oil. Then if you're looking to support your skin health, you may need a supplement like vitamin C. Now, individual factors takes into account your allergies, your medical history, your medications, and any dietary restrictions that you may be adhering to. Certain supplements may interact with some medications which you're already on. As with other food supplements, always consult your doctor or your health practitioner if you are under medical supervision or you are pregnant or you're breastfeeding or if you have food allergies or you are allergic to any ingredients. So that's why it says important to consult a healthcare professional who can put all these into consideration and provide a personalized guidance for you. Now, in the absence of any specific health goals, dietary requirements, medical condition or allergies, you can opt for a basic broad spectrum multivitamin mineral supplements. These supplements are mostly taken once a day and they contain all or most of the vitamins and minerals in amounts that do not exceed the recommended dietary allowances. Broad spectrum multivitamin and mineral tablets are generally safe, cost effective and can be tailored to your age, your sex or your reproductive status. They may also have more nutrient synergy than individual vitamins. So some examples of these broad spectrum multivitamin supplements you can take are reload that's what i take i take reload for women of course <laughs> you can also take well woman you can also take better woman you can take now multivitamin all these broad spectrum multivitamins i mentioned contain all the eight vitamins i just listed in this video so these multivitamin supplements mentioned also contains other elements like calcium, magnesium, iron, zinc, iodine, thiamine, and other trace elements. So if you think your diet is not sufficient enough to cater to all the nutrients that you need, then you can take this supplement. But it's also advisable to try as much as possible to incorporate these foods that I mentioned into your diet so that you don't keep taking supplements on a daily basis like i said before no multivitamin or nutritional supplement can compensate for poor diet now what do you avoid when taking multivitamins avoid taking more than one multivitamin supplement at the same time unless your doctor tells you to taking similar multivitamin supplements at the same time can result in an overdose and can also cause serious side effects. If you pay close attention, most of all these broad spectrum multivitamin tablets 
have similar vitamins and minerals in them so if you start combining those pills you are likely going to start taking overdose and this would cause adverse side effects because more of this vitamin doesn't necessarily benefit the skin or the body instead it may start to cause adverse side effects so what foods should you avoid when taking multivitamins when you're taking your multivitamins try to avoid foods that contain caffeine example coffee tea beverages all those teas or drinks that contains caffeine try to avoid them caffeine hinders the benefits of vitamins and minerals in the body the chemical properties in the caffeine impair the uptake of these vitamins and increases their rate of being excreted from the body please note that food supplements must not replace a very balanced diet and a healthy lifestyle so this brings me to the end of this video kindly give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and also subscribe to my channel i'm going to be seeing you in my next video bye